Everybody can uh, hear me. Thank goodness we got the, yeah, there we go. It's live. Yes. Okay, let's mute that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's go on Twitter, tell everyone that we're here. The only way that I can get this uh, audio to work for you folks is if I have it on video. That's why there's the annoying uh, standby thing there. Let's tell everyone we're live on Twitch. Let's open it up in here so I can see your comments. And we're live. And we're live. Let's give it a couple minutes for people to join. This, if you guys have been following on Instagram, is what I'm gonna open today. It's coming uh, straight from the UK. Boop. Let's see who's here, let's see who's here, let's see who's here. Uh, log in. Well, you know what, let's just do a different Twitch screen, shall we? Boop. Let's go Twitch. Hope everyone's having a great day. Take that out of there. There we go. Much better. Mucho better. So I want to thank everyone who's been watching. I finally found a way to uh, up auto publish these videos to YouTube, which is also fantastico. So then you can watch them outside of this, this stream. There we go. Perfect. All good. And I'm learning. Like I said, I'm learning. Hopefully it's not too laggy, and hopefully the quality is much better than um, the previous uh, stream that I did the other day on my webcam. And if everyone can hear me, I would appreciate a heads up on that too, because I'm using this setup. It's pretty cool, huh? Sweet, 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 because I sold my uh, old mic anyways. Perfect. More people, more people, more people, more people. Join, join, join. All right. Audio good, I love it. Um, yeah, this is really surprisingly easy. Like, I, I'm, I'm super glad that I didn't wait, uh, start Twitch right back when the technology was first starting because I've seen some people's setups with like cords going in and out and given, there's a lot of freaking cords uh, on my desk right now. It's not, it's not pretty, it's not seamless, but uh, it's just plug and play for the most part. And the software makes it really easy to select where my input output thing comes from. I do need to find a way to get this, um, where is it, this standby thing to go away because obviously I don't like that. The face tracking, yeah, I gotta turn that off. Ugh. I watched another live streamer who did that. Um, fuck, I'm sorry. Sorry, you gotta, you gotta watch the box on my face. I'll try to keep uh, the product in the shot and not my face. Ooh. Okay, let's turn it on. So, um, I wanna make this a regular thing. I wanna do uh, some unboxings on the channel, on Twitch specifically, um, <clears throat> because I'm getting more products sent to me. I'm asking for more stuff. And companies are pretty keen to send me stuff these days, so I would love to make you folks a part of that process. Maybe it makes it into the review videos, maybe it doesn't, um, but for the time being, uh, I'm really excited for this. So, this is coming all the way from Glasgow. Is anybody from the UK hanging out right now? Um, the company is called Track. I have a bag from them before, if you remember way back with my uh, what I packed for a stage video, that bag that I packed my knife roll in is from Track. So they posted a photo of this on their website. And I saw it and I was like, I can has. 
And so I sent them a message and I was like, I love your guys' bags. I would love to try this out. And so they hooked it up. Plastic on plastic. Um, this is so dope. So I'm gonna get into a breakdown of what this is in a second, but the way that I need to preface this is that, and this is gonna be in my, I'm gonna do a full review of this bag. Um, this is not a knife roll. This is called a drum roll, which is really interesting. This is in part in a partnership with this, the drummer of Frightened Rabbits, which is a band in the UK. I actually have songs of theirs that I enjoy. And um, they made this in collaboration with the drummer of that band. And so I saw it and I was like, why can't I put knives in it? So it's really, really um, beautiful waxed canvas. You can see that and it's like kind of red. This is a, um, this I think we'll have to look at on the inside, but it has beautiful, really, really tough straps on it. You can see that if it will stop tracking my face. Anyways, um, the mechanism is also really unique for this. I'm gonna show you guys this part too. Uh, gotta learn to work in the mirror with this Twitch streaming thing. So the buckles look like that, right? And what you do is, it's like a slit, right? That looks like that. And you insert, gotta be able to see this. You insert and then it locks itself. Super, super fast and easy, which I'm super excited about. Uh, I really like that feature on the bag that I have from them. Um, so yeah, this, I have to preface all of this with that it's not a knife roll. This is my first time unrolling it. Let's take a look. Dope. Thoughts? Anybody? Initial thoughts? So yeah, this is what it looks like. It says that. Track with Grant Hutchinson, Pro Edition. So again, this is called their drum roll. And you guys can hopefully see why I wanted to use this as a knife roll. Um, this is really cool. This is meant for hanging the knife roll on like a music stand or a light stand or a drum kit basically so that you can hang it there and then you have really easy access to pull out any of your drumsticks or any of whatever else people use for, dr for drumming. Um, oh, this is so dope. So I really like this because all chef rolls that I've used in the past with the exception of that Bulldrick one is uh, black on black. I like the fact that this is red. It has like the pop of orange uh, and it's essentially the same. It's got um, pockets, deep, deep pockets here for knives and I'm thinking of even, even putting the utensils in these pockets and then these front pockets with a little bit smaller openings, if you can see that will be for um, the knife handles. So essentially you're storing your utensils behind your knives, which is a really weird kind of uh, setup. Indecisive Turtle says, it's so funny, I play the drums and I use my stick bag as a knife roll for my first stage. Uh, yeah, totally. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this little hook ring thing, but there's more pockets. There's one huge pocket hidden behind this crazy, right? Um, so this can be for, you know, pastry card, notebook, business cards, whatever. And then I'm almost positive. No, maybe not. Damn it. I thought this was a, I had thought that this was a strap and they uh, took some inspiration or maybe beat chrome to the punch with the offset handle, but they didn't. It's just a little pop of color on the outside. It's pretty dope. Uh, you can like feel the wax on your hands from the canvas. So this is gonna be waterproof. Definitely going to stand up to the kitchen environment. How in the world do I fold this back up? Okay, one, two, three, four. Folds down really small when it's empty and I feel like it would just expand a little bit when I fill it with tools. Uh, Figuring out how to wrap it around here. Expanding this a little bit. What, uh, while I'm figuring some of this stuff out, you guys can let me know what you would be interested to see and learn about in my review of this. Uh, any questions you might have? 
in my search for discovering the perfect knife roll continues. My search for the perfect knife roll continues and this is just part of that. Maybe this will be the winner. I like it so far. First impressions are really good. So yeah, all these videos that I'm gonna be producing with uh, unboxings are gonna serve as like first impression videos. Uh, unedited, unscripted first impression videos where it's like really raw and you see exactly what my first impressions are. I would love um, to have that be the norm, especially with more products coming into my life from brands. There, so I expanded it a little bit. Um, it does have a handle, which is great. It's kind of floppy. Maybe it just needs to have some tools in it. Again, this is meant to be for drumsticks. I wanna reiterate that again and again and again. Um, Eric Grant says, I love the look of it. It looks cooler than the traditional leather red knife roll, right? Like, this is still gonna develop just as much character as a leather knife roll will, plus um, it, is still waterproof. It's not going to, it's lighter, it's thinner. Um, I just really like their stuff. They're, they, they say that they're in one of the rainiest cities in Europe, which makes, makes sense. This is Robios Kombucha, by the way. It's not beer, I promise. So that's where all their inspiration for making all their stuff waterproof comes from. And again, they have this little logo right here with the drum, see it? See it? Oh my God, backwards. I'm really excited to review this bag. I'm gonna load this up with tools and uh, hook it up for the next dinner that I have coming up. Uh, Nunez Cook says, any thoughts on the Chef Backpack by Tilt? Let's take a look at that. Chef Backpack Tilt. I've seen, I feel like I've seen it on Instagram. Sorry if someone's hammering. I feel like someone's installing furniture in my office somewhere here. Tilt, let's take a look at it. Okay, okay, I see you. Should we, uh, should I review? This is dope. Let's see, go away, pop up. First chef backpack designed by chefs. See, my problem with products like this is that they, um, they are, let me see. Uh, how can I see more stuff? Series of designs, input from cooks and chefs all over the country, developed by carry of chef's clothes, tech, and tools, and chef's knives safely to and from work without the need for a second tool bag. So let's see what we got here. Nope, that link doesn't work. Um, there's no photos. Oh, there we go. Okay, like that. That's it, those are the only two photos we get. I would definitely, um, I would definitely see the pros of using this if, maybe not, I don't know. I feel like I would have to flip my frame of mind because when I think chef knife roll, I think it's completely dedicated to tools and that's the only thing that it's dedicated to. And so I would have to flip that in my mind of like this is a backpack and my tools are part of that. So I just have to flip the way that I think about it. But I would totally, I'm gonna reach out to these guys. I'm gonna reach out, check their whole wholesale stuff. Yeah, Google Images maybe shows me more. That's a good. That's a good point. Uh, I have all their contact information right here. I literally sent an email list to. Here, I'm gonna show you this other knife roll that I think is dope. Uh, Instagram.com/slash/darkheart. Have you guys heard of these guys? Darkheart. Let's make my screen a little bit smaller so you guys can see. Have you guys seen these guys? So it's called Dark Heart on Instagram. Evolving Capsule Collections, season one chef. So what they do is they have these kind of like dope matte black uh, knife rolls with designs up at the top. So they did one for uh, Mount Fuji here. Rolls up really nice with a handle and a strap. It's got leather, it's got some uh, nylon, it's got maybe canvas it looks like. Uh, but they did a collaboration with some aprons for Somni. Maybe not aprons. It's the uh, coasters. Anyways, sent them an email today. Super excited to see what they say. Definitely going to reach out to these guys as well. Indecisive Turtle says, maybe next stream make a scene for full webcam so we can see the bigger. We can see bigger. 
nothing important on the background on Twitter noted. I need to uh, find a exciting background for you folks for Twitter. Uh, anyways, that's all I that's all I have for uh, that is all I have for today's stream. I just wanted to unbox this bad boy for you folks. It's like having a Gucci knife bag. You're so right. Uh, is there any other questions or anything? This is your opportunity. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, leave it in the comments. Or even if you're on Twitch in the chat room right now, let me know what you would like to see, any questions you might have about this bag that I can cover in my review of it, which will be coming up shortly. So you can stay tuned for that. This, was, this serves as a little uh, trailer for, for that. Any questions, any questions? Anything I can help you folks out with today? Hope you're having a great Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm uh, in the process of figuring out more and exciting stream ideas for you folks. Uh, not just these unboxings. I have a podcast episode tomorrow, recording the emulsion tomorrow. I hope you're gonna be there for that. It's at 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m. Indecisive Turtle wants to know if the pocket stitching stays firm. Check it out. I will check it out. I, I, it, um, man, their stuff is so high quality. It's really hard for me to uh, say that it won't. But again, I will. Uh, I need to figure out some like durability tests that I put all my knives bags through. Uh, I've been knife bags where the pockets have ripped open. Totally. I. It's that sucks. I mean, if it's uh, one of the cheap bags, I can totally see that happening. It sounds unfortunate. I want one of these knife bags so bad. I don't know how this rolls up though. I'm super skeptical that this will be big and chunky when it rolls up. But their marketing is great. And they're based out of LA. And they make these dope foie gras shirts. Maybe I don't. Uh, somebody else make these shirts. Anyways. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So I got a couple of DMs from you folks when I put out on Instagram yesterday about a Google Drive project that I'm working on. And this has been something that's been in my head for a long time. It's something that I, I literally almost didn't do the whole YouTube thing. I almost started with this project, but I was like, no, I need to provide value in other ways uh, in, with video first. So that's where YouTube started. But I've had this idea in my head for a long time for a Google Drive folder for everybody, all of us that are following. And the reason that I put it out there about helping is because I have so many, I have too many projects in my life right now. It's not something I can reasonably take on, but I want it to be something that I start and see grow with you folks. So the idea being, and this is something that I actually discovered in chatting with some of you folks in Instagram DM yesterday is that I was just going to open it up. I was just going to say open Google Drive. Anybody can submit their recipes. I was going to create a template so everyone can use and they all look the same. But the idea being that it's a searchable database of recipes from around the world. And then somebody, one of you folks, is so gracious enough to help me organize them. And then you can say as a resume builder that you helped build a global recipe database. And it's something that I've used in contract negotiations and job interviews before where I say, look, at this last restaurant, I helped build an entire recipe database. It's really important if you organize your recipes for this restaurant, regardless. The point being is that I want you to be able to look at an ingredient like uh, dill, for example, and I use this in my video as well. Maybe let's pick a different ingredient. Let's say apple, right? Like you have an ingredient like apple, you're able to go to this Google Drive that all of us share and all of us are constantly updating and search the word apple and see a bunch of recipes from everybody that shares basically what we do with apples and recipes that use apples in them. And it's open source, basically. Anybody can publish recipes. Uh, you can shoot people comments somehow, some way. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to do that. But, um, and you can like give credit to someone on Instagram for using their recipe. I think it would just be so cool to have that community where all of us are sharing our ideas. Um, because I think that all of us, especially everyone in 2018 is very convinced that there's no 
point in keeping your recipes secret, right? There's so much more to it than just your recipes. So I think I want it to be a resource. I want it to be something that you folks use to better your food, to get inspiration. And so I'm coming out with a video about that this week, talking all about that. I have the script all the way written out. I just need to shoot it and edit it and figure out how I'm gonna open those floodgates. Uh, someone suggested that I put up a template. You can download the template, write your recipe in it, upload it as a PDF, and then I will have a moderator uh, decide what is good and what is not good. Again, crazy, crazy camera settings. I'll have a moderator decide what is good and not good and what can go into the drive and then everything will get um, organized per recipe category. And I want that moderator to also add keywords. So if that person, that person has to have knowledge about food. So I want that person to be able to look at the recipe and be like, oh, this recipe is gluten free. So they tag it gluten free as a keyword. So then if chef comes to you and says, I need you to make a gluten free dish, you can be like, oh shit, open up your drive, search gluten free, and you'll hopefully see a shit ton of recipes that are gluten free. Uh, that's the goal anyways. Um, now I'm just rambling. I hope I answered your question. I'm gonna answer way more details about that later in a video this week. Are there any more questions? I have to head off to a meeting in less than 10 minutes. So unless anybody has any other separate questions, I would love to answer them for you. Otherwise, I'll see you all back here tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific time for episode 58 of the podcast. Questions, questions, questions. I'm super, super close to, um, I'm a couple hours of streaming away from having affiliate status on Twitch. So that means you guys can subscribe. So I'm super pumped for that as well. Keep an eye out. Thanks for hanging out guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more of these unboxings with you and to get any initial questions out of the way and then also share my first impressions with you about new products that I'm getting. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, that's it. If there's no other questions, I'm gonna leave you to it. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. No questions, perfect. Have a good one guys, thanks for hanging out.